Hey, how's it going? Jason here. And in this episode, we're going to be doing a follow-up on these two Wangyan olives I have right here. So uh, if you guys remember from uh, the spring video when we worked on these, is we basically cut them back. You can see the big cuts here, the big cut there. You can see a big cut on this one right here. And you can see cuts, multiple cuts right here. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. You can see they're kind of dark one there. One there, one there. And that was done so that we could set the structure of the trunk or at least identify the movement in the trunk. So for example, in this one right here, um, the main trunk movement is basically following it, just something like that. And so what we had to do was eliminate basically all the other branches that we didn't need. And those were thicker branches that were competing with the trunk and other branches that were maybe going off in directions that we didn't need. And we did this with two trees. We did it with this one. And we also did it with this one. And you can see there's been a lot of growth. You can see this one's maybe not growing as quickly, uh, but I've got little buds right here. I've got buds all inside here, inside here. This is a new branch right here. These are all new branches, actually, all these right here. And they've grown significantly, but on this one, it's a little bit easier to see. So we're going to use this one as an example. Uh, when we did work on it in the spring, we actually did wire one branch right here. There's one that was coming out right here, which we did wire. And you can already still, you can already see how fast it's grown. It's already starting to dig in right here. So we got to remove that right now. But you can see all the new branches that have come out. This is a new branch right here. New branch, new branch, all these buds inside here on the trunk right there. Those are all new. This one all new. And all this on the apex coming out this way is all new as well. Uh, you know, we were hoping you know, we had to cut some branches here and here on the side and we were basically hoping for branches in good spots and which we got on this one we got one here we got one here we got one here and maybe we don't need this one that's coming out right here but it's still nice that we got growth everywhere and that's the whole point and when we're doing a reset is to kind of promote um, additional growth or at least get rid of unwanted growth and then wait for new growth to appear in the spots that we want it. Now we can't necessarily predict where it's going to be on the tree, but usually if you, the tree's getting a lot of light from all different directions, you're going to get some growth where you want it. And even if you don't get exactly where you want it, you'll still be able to get some branches close to where it is and still use those, which is what we're going to do with this tree. We're going to use with what we have. We'll use the branches that we got so we can set the structure on the branches since in the spring we already set the uh, trunk structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this wire that's digging in, okay? So it's already been here for what feels like maybe, let's see, we did this probably in April. So it's been about seven months. And so now I'm gonna remove the wire and you can see, I'm moving a little closer so you can see what happened with the wire here. So I'm just removing it. We just, I decided to bring one down just for, just for the fun of it so we could start it going at least in this direction. But you can kind of see right there. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see the wire scars already right there, right here right there and that's with seven months so we probably could have removed this maybe about two months ago and then it wouldn't have been as bad and that just kind of shows how fast olive branches can grow when just left to grow um, without any interference so i'll bring two tools that i'm going to need a branch cutter and a shear and then we can already see on this one that we've got you know it's not the best looking tree i mean it's not a really thick trunk but there's definitely something we can do with it I mean, I've got some nice branches right here, which all I have to do is bring them down. So what I'm gonna do is apply some wire to some of these branches. I'm gonna eliminate some of the ones I don't need, like this one right here is going on the bottom. See this one right here? It's going beneath that thicker one above it, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. So I can start to eliminate, from here I can start to eliminate the branches that I know I don't need. Like this one right here, it's right in that, right inside this pocket, so I'm gonna eliminate that completely because that's what I'm ripping it. But you can kind of see now, now we have more branches to work with, and it's also more compact inside the tree as opposed to as it was leggier probably when we cut them. They were probably going out here earlier in the year when we cut them back. Now we got some thicker growth inside closer to the trunk. So now we can get rid of some of these legging ones. These have all lignified. So if I cut them back, say I cut this one back, I'm going to get buds on the inside here since these branches are already lignified. Now I've got three branches here. One, two, three. So I might be able to eliminate some of these, but first I'm going to wire them down. I'll grab some wire. These are really light branches, so I don't really need thick wire. Okay, so I wired that down a little bit, but I can already see that these branches are going to be way too far out. I'm going to cut them back. And those are all lignified, so I am really not concerned about whether or not we're going to get buds out of there. So now I've got that one down there. I got that one there, right? So let's move up. 
to this guy right here. I'll put a little wire on that one. But you guys, these right here, because yeah, these guys are actually new branches that we didn't have in the spring, so now I can work with those. All right, so basically I just wired uh, the branches. Uh, that's maybe like, maybe about seven pieces of wire um, and then created this, uh, wired everything down. So I'm using the growth that I developed basically from spring until now. And those is mostly, almost all these branches right here is that new growth. Uh, this one was the original, this one right here was one of the original branches, this lower branch right here, but it actually had a couple offshoots to the side which I used to make this pad look a little bit thicker. This one just a little bit thicker. But as you can see, if you work on a tree in the spring and you cut it back, you do sort of a reset on it, cut the branches that you don't want, and then let it grow for the next six months, seven months, you're going to develop some of these branches that you can use to develop a more solid branch structure. As you can see, the tree didn't come out too bad. Um, it's not the thickest trunk, but this is material that you can find pretty easily. Um, it's an olive, so you, They'll, you know, if you cut them back, it's going to, it's going to back bud from the trunk. It's going to back bud in spots uh, that you're going to need it. So if you make adjustments, say in the spring, and you make some, some cuts, some big cuts, uh, you'll get the branches that you want. And then uh, from there, you can do a second styling. At this point, this structure, this structure is pretty much set. So all I have to do is let these branches grow a little bit more. And the reason being is just so them they can thicken up a little bit. Uh, lignify and then cut them back so they can start developing those secondary branches like this one right here so we can start creating those pads so you can imagine that uh, this branch right here I can start to develop some pads or maybe this one right here that's kind of alone here it's lignified so I cut it back I'm just gonna start developing some secondary branches there and I can create a little pad right there so pad there pad here there 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 and over here it's a little, little hollow but I've got some growth right there and right here, I might be able to use one of these to fill in this space. Later, we'll see. Um, but for now, I use this one to kind of fill in this space by bringing it over. But as you can see, from uh, basic one gallon nursery material, if you make the cuts in the spring and let it grow and kind of you know, make those cuts to decide on the trunk structure and then wait for the branches to come in, you can actually create a decent looking tree uh, just from a one gallon can. So this guy right here, uh, I'm pretty happy with. I can actually probably put this in a pot if I wanted to. I mean, the olives are really tough. Um, they don't require um, too much too much maintenance. I mean, look at the soil on this thing. This soil is awful. I mean, it's almost like concrete. And look how well it's growing. So if I put this into the, some nice soil, into a nice pot, it's actually gonna do even better than sitting in this, uh, this can right here. So that's probably what I'll do. Let's go see if I can find a pot right now. I'll bring it over and we can see if you know, it's an olive, so I'll probably look in a glaze pot. So let me go see if I can find one. We'll put it in front of it so we can kind of get an idea of how it can look. All right, so I came back with a couple pots. I got three actually right here. So we can kind of get an idea of how it can look when we repot it. I've got this blue, this black one right here. Let's see if I can see the angle there. We've got this one, like that one. We've got that one, which eh, it's a little bit on the big side. Um, we've got this one. This one's kind of a cool color. That one's kind of neat. I think it's a little bit on the big side too. That one. This one's a little bit smaller. This lotus style pot. I'm not too. I'm not loving the color of it. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you like more, and then I'll put it in that one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys thought it was helpful, give me a like. Otherwise, subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Thanks for watching.